I had fallen to the floor at the house and I couldn't make my hands or my feet work to get under me to, to get up. So I called for my sister to come and call my brother over to help me to raise me up. And instead they called 911 and called the ambulance and brought me here. <laughs> That's when I found out that I was having a stroke. So we brought him back to our uh, angiography suite, and uh, with the aid of our uh, nursing staff and uh, technologists, we were able to quickly get him ready to undergo the procedure. Uh, we used a uh, small uh, incision in the groin on the right uh, and placed a tube uh, through that uh, small hole through the ar arterial system all the way up into the neck. From the neck, we put a very small tube all the way up into the brain arteries. We were able to get a good picture of the blockage and knew we were right in the blockage with the tube. We then started to uh, deliver tissue plasmage and activate our TPA, the clot dissolving medicine, right into the clot. And it was a very dramatic result. Uh, Mr. Easel started to recover right away on the table. I was uh, actually uh, shocked at myself to see such a rapid improvement when he first started moving his uh, left arm. I did not even recognize that that was the arm that had previously been paralyzed. It was one of the nurses that pointed it out and at that point we knew we had uh, uh, been successful and were able to end the procedure. Every day is better. Yeah. His, yeah. The look on his face is a lot better. Mm -hmm. Every hour actually. When I first got here, I couldn't even raise it up like that. Oh yeah, I can move it around fine now. It was fortunate that, that he was here in the right, at the right place at the right time. And it was fortunate that he came, came to this place. And the doctors, are, are, they keep you well informed and, and they're real nice. I didn't expect to do a case of that nature as our first case here at DePaul, but certainly was uh, lucky that we had all the equipment ready and uh, Mr. Easel certainly benefited from its presence here. They say I will probably recuperate a hundred percent. Most likely. Which will be good. I'm happy to see him cracking jokes again, you know. That's how I know that he's feeling better. Mm -hmm. so. I never saw my dad cry and that was awful to see him cry. <laughs> and now he's not, so he's cracking jokes. He's getting back to his old self. Very good kick. Ex exceptionally good kick. For me, that's just truly amazing because that's not no, that's the stroke care that we had seen in the past. This is, you know, many of the folks we would see come in, what you saw was kind of what you got. You would hopefully do a little bit of rehab and you'd see some improvement. But to see someone come in completely flaccid, the way he was and not moving and now we're watching him walk. I can speak I've for never that. Seen I have never seen that. It, it I mean, is. It's, it's amazing. amazing. I can speak for that because he couldn't move. No. The, he couldn't even move his arm. Yeah, you know, it was, it was like nothing. That. Well, He's an amazing story. And I think we're, we're very happy to have been part of it and, and to well, see Well, we're it, very so. happy that you I'm, guys were I'm part sure, of it. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. I, I'm sure. I'm sure. So. Yeah. Great. See, there, he's walking really good. Look at that. Really well, I was telling him when we were walking, he's too good for us. <laughs> I won't need to see him anymore. Um, I was looking at his strength in his legs. It looks great. His balance was good. No concerns. That's <laughs> so great. He said he feels back to. Good job, Dad. Can you just go right this way, sir?